I'll leave you guys with this story. I gotta tell you the story. I have to, I have to, this happened to me not too long ago and then I gotta get out of here. But I, uh, <laughs> I had something crazy happen. I saw somebody get hit by a car. Everybody calm down. <laughs> I wouldn't be telling the story if she didn't make it out all right. <laughs> or would I? No, I'm kidding, I wouldn't. So here's what happened, right? I'm in New York and I'm leaving a comedy club with two of my friends and I'm like walking out, we're talking and I hear a screech and a thud. Immediately I know what it is. I've been in New York City my whole life. I know what a gunshot sounds like. I know what somebody getting hit by a car sounds like and I know what the ice cream man sounds like. <laughs> so <laughs> immediately I go, oh my God, someone just got hit by a car. So I look up, sure enough, there's a cab in the middle of the street and a lady laid out shoes, pew pew, clothes, pew pew, everywhere. So I run over, I don't know why, I cannot help. So I run over. <laughs> And I say the stupidest thing ever. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> Which by the way, no, no, she's not. So two other guys run over. They can't help either. They're just nosy like me. And as they, as they come over, the cab driver comes out and he starts yelling at the woman that's like on the floor. Mind you, like he's like this tiny little like Middle Eastern guy. And he's like, I don't know why you crossed the street like this. Like he gets mad at her. By the way, I do a terrible Middle Eastern impression. <laughs> He's like yelling at her and I'm like, dude, she's really not ready for this argument. Maybe give her a couple minutes, like let her open her eyes. I'm like all in her corner already. I'm like, don't talk to my girl like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> you not fit to talk to my new friend like that. So then this doctor comes, like this doctor comes from across the street, she starts screaming, she's like, I'm a doctor, I'm a doctor, everybody move. So we move, but like not far, we wanna see what's going on. So like we take like, a respectable step back and the doctor comes running up and she gets right down by the lady and she goes, are you okay? Right? And I'm like, oh my God, I'm a doctor. So the doctor, she doesn't respond. She's like kind of groggy. So then the doctor says it again. She's like, are you okay? Cause that's in the manual by the way. And so I kid you not, like something out of a horror movie, this woman pops up like nothing's wrong. Like she pops up and she's drunk. So she's like, I'm fine. I'm telling you, alcohol. So she jumps up, and I'm Latino, so you know, I was like, oh, the devil! So I ran. Because that hoe is possessed. Here's the best part. The cab driver had been arguing with a woman that was across the street, totally different woman, and he's not even arguing. The woman was arguing with him. The cab driver was doing this. And I'm, I love drama, so I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> then the woman finally shuts up and the cab driver goes like this, he goes, shut up, shut up. Can I tell you how many times I've used that like since then? <laughs> like I'm not even kidding, I do it to my husband like all the time now. Speaking of, <laughs> last week, my husband actually tried to jump in the shower with me and I was like, oh, are we in prison? Like, what is going on? <laughs> this is where I cry. <laughs> like, shut up, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. <laughs>